With a shared calendar, multiple people can view and or edit a single calendar. I'm going to share the projects calendar here. To do so, I can click the share icon that appears as I mouse over the calendar here. It's also possible to right click on the calendar and choose sharing settings, or get the same command from the edit menu. In here I can add individuals to share the calendar with. I can enter names of contacts or just email addresses, just as I did with invitees. By default, these users all will be able to view and edit this calendar. Click the down arrow here next to their name if you don't want them to be able to add or edit events in this calendar. If I make this a public calendar, I'll be able to send a link to anyone. This will be a read-only version of the calendar, so nobody viewing it with this method can edit it. Click Done, and the invited users are going to get an alert in their calendar. Accept, and it will be added to their calendar list. And since those that I shared the calendar with are able to edit, an event can be added to the calendar here. After a few seconds, it's going to be added to the calendar on my iMac as well. I'm alerted that Drew Swanson at iCloud.com has joined the calendar and has added the brainstorm event. Since I have this calendar checked as a public calendar, I can right click on it and choose to send a published email. This will put together an email with a link to the public calendar that I could now send out to whoever I like. This is pretty much a subscribed calendar, which are calendars that someone else creates and manages. But using a link, you can subscribe to and view. The US Holidays calendar from Apple is a subscribed calendar. Often websites will have a link to a calendar of events, such as a season schedule of games. Here I can click to add the Chicago Bulls schedule to my calendar. Notice that this is a link with .ics at the end, which is the iCalendar file type. Click Subscribe and the calendar is added alongside my other calendars. 